Hey. Hello. Today we're going to be doing a devotion this morning. Um, my bad, y'all. Um, so, yeah. Have you ever been angry with someone, but yet still you still give them the things that you promised them? Like, for example, your child. Like, right now my, my child is having a temper tantrum, but I'm still going to give him his car anyway. Do you want your car, Harlow? Um, and I gave him his car because I love him. Now, with that being said, God does us the same way. Although we do things to um, cause his anger to be provoked, he still loves us and he still shows us mercy. So today we're going to be talking about the children of Israel and the children of Judah. And we're going to go to Jeremiah 32. And in Jeremiah 32, the Israelites were up to their old, you know, tricks and antics that they always are up to not listening to god and they build some Baal altars inside of the house of the lord they also were walking across flames they were doing everything that god told them not to do and they literally deserved the wrath of god the anger of god and i mean they they got it because in what verse is it in verse 36 God says, the people of Jerusalem will be delivered into the hand of the king of Babylon by sword, by famine, and by pestilence. That right there was God's anger kindled against them. And not only did he do what he said he was going to do, but he also, in verse 37, he showed his mercy. Although all this stuff was going to come to pass and, you know, happen, God said that he would bring them back. And they would dwell in that city and they would dwell in it safely. So I want to read verses 38 through 42. And hold on, let me go get my um my Bible. Okay, so we're going to read verses 38 through 42. 38 says, And they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And I will give them one heart and one way, that they may fear me forever for the good of them and for the children after them. And I will make an everlasting covenant with them, that I will not turn away from them to do them good but I will put fear in their hearts that they will not depart from me yea I will rejoice over them to do them good and I will plant them in this land assuredly with my whole heart and with my whole soul for thus saith the Lord like as I have brought all these great evil upon this people so will I bring upon them all the good that I have promised them so that right there is just a testament of God's grace like he's still gonna show us love He's still going to show us mercy. I mean, you're still going to get what you deserve. You're going to reap the harvest that you sowed, right? But God is merciful and good, and he loves us so much that he will provide the great things that he promised us. So in verse four, verse 42, that's what really stuck out, stuck out to me because it shows God mercy, God's mercy and his undying love for us. So although he brought evil upon the people of Israel, he also brought all the good upon them that he promised them. So there's a promise for you. And it's the same for us in this present time. God's love is everything. And we need to remember that God can be mad and rightfully so. But it's not how people portray him. They portray him as this evil God who is always angry and wants to destroy. But that's not so. God is still a God of love. So... I hope that you are um, encouraged by this devotional, although it's a lot of noise in the background and stuff. I just ask that you um, really think about that prayerfully. So I will see you guys in a next video. Bye.